curious about what's involved in taking care of guinea pigs and what you need for a healthy and happy guinea pig cage, come with me as I clean out their cage and give them a cage upgrade and I'll give you some tips that I've picked up along the way. I just bought this 72 by 72 shower curtain, so I'm gonna use this as a base, even though we have waterproof fleece liners. I don't trust them completely, so this is gonna protect the floor. I've got these two new 39 by 39 inch whelping pads I bought. They're supposed to be waterproof, so I'm gonna use these to line the cage, and they should be soft and gentle, moisture wicking, all that good stuff. They're enjoying themselves in there. I put the fence around just in case they try to climb out, because our big one used to try to do that with the mesh. But I've got enough in there, I think they are entertained. And now I'm working on this one. It is too wide for the two by six CNC cage, but I was thinking I might add another width so it's three by six. In that case, it'll be really perfect, but for now it's gonna work. I'm just gonna put a hay box here that up in place. They're ready to go back in. Look at that. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, there you go. They're in, they're exploring their new digs. I love that black and white. That's pretty with the rainbow and the colors. Oh yeah. I gotta dump this hay bin. We're still waiting for the second hay bin so I can replace that temporary one. Way down under there, I've got paper bedding lining the bottom to catch all the pee and stuff. And then I put a big thing of hay and then every day I put more and more hay and it just piles up and they eat and they poop and they pee and then once a week I just dump the whole thing. Blech. So here you can start to see the paper bedding that's down here catching all the gook. It just comes out so nice and clean. I just spray with vinegar and like wipe it down afterwards to get any smell out. But oh my gosh, look at this. So easy. I used to use fleece at the bottom and it would get like this thick layer of goo that I had to hose off with a power washer. It was awful. So this paper stuff is amazing. Almost completely clean. Nice thick lining down here. We got hay. My piggies always go for these hay tops first. I love them. Right. Here we go. Yes. You're going right in there, aren't you? I gotta shake out the other mats, brush them down, use a chum chum roller, and then wash them and dry them. And then they will be ready for next week when I do another massive clean. Let's see how that did. Yas. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. Satisfying for me. Look at all that fur I just got out. Oh my gosh. Yas. Love this thing. Of course, this Cham Cham roller and all the stuff I'm using. Affiliate links below to buy them on Amazon. Some other random hacks I've come up with. I use one of these for their pellets and I just pour the whole big five pound bag in here and then you can just open and pour it into the bowl daily. Makes it really easy. And this is the little broom I use for daily poop scooping upping in there. And then of course this helps with the weekly clean too. This is what I use to sweep off as much hay as I can before I wash the fleece mats. And this is what I use to try to help get the hay and the paper bedding out when I change their hay bin slash litter bin. Everybody's got a different guinea pig cage set up, but the key is having a big enough space for a single guinea pig. And if you have more than one guinea pig, you need even more space so that there's less chance of fighting. You need at least a one hide per guinea pig. You should not have hay bins where they have to like pull out from something that's like really small or hanging like a hay rack. You need big litter bins where they can play with the hay and really get in there. You need water, you need pellets, you need daily veggies, especially ones with vitamin C. They love their little peppers. If you wanna have more enrichment in there, like we love these little tunnels, that's even better, but I'm learning. Everybody learns as they go, hopefully, because some of the big pet stores do not have good advice for what you need. They have you buying really tiny cages. They have you buying hay racks that are dangerous. Just be careful, do your research. There are some amazing Facebook groups out there. Guinea pigs are some work. Gotta keep their area clean, but they are so cute and fun to watch and fun to play with. Totally worth it.